He's got an extensive background in sales and closing. He's kind of a young dude. He keeps turning around companies and he's got everything documented, like framework. Um, obviously, we're building a winning culture. I became the top car salesman at that dealership. This program is like nothing you've ever seen. But these are the most common objections that I see here from where I go, okay? <clears throat> and the ingredients to deal with these objections is pretty much reverse engineer the objection, okay? If you could say one thing to the objection, what would it be? Like if you come in and you're on my team, and I know your biggest objection is you don't want to make a shitty check. I'm not just going to tell you like, well, you're going to make a shitty check, right? Or I can't help you, man. You got to do that yourself. That's not going to make you feel good. So why would the objection that the client tells you, you telling it back to them make them feel good? It's not. The first thing is acknowledging, right? Like, yeah, I totally understand. I wouldn't want to make a shitty check either. And I've been there before. So the first step is to acknowledge, but then tell them what they need to hear. Let me tell you why I can help you never make a shitty check again, right? I understand. I've been there before. That's the acknowledgement. Let me tell you why I can help you never make a shitty check again because of A, B, and C. And then the last breath pivot is where I pivot and take you down the lane. So what's the plan for the week? So the way I would use this formula, acknowledge, tell them what they need to hear, last breath pivot and take control. One of the objections we get is just simply no, 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 no. We've all heard it before. Like as soon as you answer the phone, no, 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 no. So what I like to do in that situation when they say no, 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 I hear people goof around and say like, no, 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 no to what? Do you even know who I am? Like now you're playing into the client's ego. Now you're challenging the client. Now you're trying to fuck with the client. Real talk. I always tell people like, why are you arguing with the client? Why are you trying to argue with them? Like if that makes you have fun and get back on the phones, you know, with a better attitude, sure, do it once in a while, but no. When they say no, 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 I say, I know, I know, I know. I definitely understand where the no's coming from. You know, I've heard it a lot of times, but let me tell you why I could turn that no, no, no into a yes, yes, yes. And then I immediately go into, you're probably getting blown up. You're getting a ton of these calls. You don't want them. I need two minutes of your time. And if I don't get you the best deal, I'll hang up on myself. What were you looking to do before all the no's came? And like, that's how I combat the no, 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 no. With acknowledging it, trying to tell them what they need to hear, last breath pivot and take control. And please understand when you listen to this, that when you get the no, 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 I already, if I go back a couple of slides, I already expect the bullshit. I already know the no, 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 70% of the time is gonna end up in a hang up. But I'm fighting for the 30%. And that's the most important part about this is, when I get the no, 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 I'm like, I got a 30% chance of getting this. Let's capitalize, right? Capitalize on what comes. Let's capitalize on the 30% of the no, 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 no. And then when I get the no, I'm like, fuck, I had 30% odds anyways. Where's the next call? That's a perfect example of not only how to respond to the objection, but how to expect the bullshit through the objection. Know what the odds are and know there's no hard feelings about it. Next, I hear this all the time. I'm busy, call me later. The salesperson will just tell them, yeah, what time do you want me to call you? Four o'clock tomorrow? All right, great, man, thank you, have a great day. And then 95% of the time, they don't answer when you call them back. And think about it, they told five, six, seven people that they're busy. And five, six, seven people got the four o'clock for them. So I always say like the I'm busy one, not only do you need to acknowledge like, yeah, I'm super busy myself, I'll make this super quick for you. What were you looking to do? Let's get this done real quick for you. Acknowledging, I understand, I'm busy myself. Let me make this super quick for you. What were you trying to do? So that's the first thing I do. What are you trying to do is a last breath pivot. You know, I had a girl that uh, her name is Natalie and she was struggling to even make a $10,000 check. And after I taught her the last breath pivot and she started just pivoting and taking control of the conversation, She's making 25, 30,000 because she leads the conversation. 
It's such a big pillar and such a big difference that I taught her how to lead the conversation and take the client down the line with her. When I listen to her calls, she tells the client when it's time to speak. And I don't mean that in a rude or unprofessional way. I mean that in a way where she's moving the call along in the right direction and getting the client's goals and then letting them speak when it's time for them to speak. Instead of before, she used to talk, pause, let them take control. They take her down this rabbit hole, that rabbit hole, this black hole, that black hole. And by that time, the direction of the call is lost. The focus is lost. You know, you're taking me to buy ice cream, but you stop me here, show me a Caesar salad. They show me a garden salad. They show me broccoli. Motherfucker, I came out to get ice cream. Keep me on the path to get my ice cream, right? Show me the fudge and show me the sprinkles and show me everything related to ice cream. What is everything related to the benefit of your product? And how could you keep sprinkling that in and controlling their way the whole, the whole time?